Hi, this is Mary Hoffman, and this is recording number three in a series of four recordings about Infor Visual's shop floor. Shop floor gives you apps to perform a variety of tasks on a mobile device. Recording number one gives an overview, so please watch that recording prior to any of the subsequent recordings. Recording number one also talks about scheduling, which gives you that up to the minute information about what's going on on the shop and allows you to take that and have it right at your fingertips on that mobile device. If, you're, if you are licensed for labor and inventory, you can also issue material to jobs and do labor transactions from that scheduling app. Labor really allows your folks to clock in and clock out of jobs, start and stop jobs, and more. And that's what recording number two is about. Recording number three, we're going to be talking about um, work order material. That's the topic of this particular, um, this particular recording. And then in a subsequent recording, we'll focus on what you can do around receiving and returning purchase orders. But here with um, work order material, You'll use this app to perform all major inventory transactions around work orders. That's primarily what it's for. There's a few other uh, applications that we'll see here as we drill in. So let's go look at what we can do. As we've seen in the other modules, uh, there's some options for how you might see this information um, here in a list or if, if a user prefers prefers to see that in uh, with buttons to touch for touch screen then then great um, either of those it's a personal preference I'll I will reiterate that um, that of course the user who has logged in needs to have access to be able to have that security access to be able to reach these things so folks aren't going to be able to issue material unless you've given them um, given them the permissions to do so with security this um, shop floor mobile can be used in a scanning type mode or I can use a keyboard and fill out information. So I'm, I'll, I'll show you the difference here. Let's start with, um, we'll put this in scan mode and you'll see that a new icon comes up at the top because now I'm able to interface with a, with a scanner if I have that on my, on my device. Typically when it's a mobile device, it's probably a Bluetooth scanner. I'm using my laptop, so it might be a, um, a scanner that's attached, a PC attached scanner. Um, but when I'm using that barcoding, then when I go into an application, all I need to do is scan a barcode to get things filled out. Now let's expand upon that a little bit. What did I click on? I clicked on issue to a work order. Well, that particular transaction is saying I'm ready to give material to a work order. Let's talk about that just a little bit more by looking at what I'm what would I be scanning there? Well I'd probably be scanning a picking ticket. So let's go pull up a picking ticket just to have something there on the So here's a picking ticket for work order number 2000 and here is the first material that's required. So if I were to scan over this material it while I'm in that issue work order material mode, then that one scan would fill in all of these fields for me and, um, and allow me to, to say, yes, I'm issuing this. So since I'm using a keyboard, we're going to go back and come out of scan mode. We'll go to same screen, issue material. But now I need to fill in this. Uh, I need to fill in the information because I don't have a scanner. So I will do that. Or I can search. Let's do that. Let's pull up work orders and we'll just pick on this first work order. And now I can search for the piece that I want, uh, that I am issuing. And we'll just issue that first one and it fills in the information for me. So now I simply need to specify um, how many of those 150 am I actually issuing and give a reason code if you use those, give a description if you, if you use those. When I click on submit, then I will, um, then it will, it will play that transaction in visual as just as if I had filled out 
the an inventory transaction screen um, within visual. Let's look at some of the other things that I can see here. Um, if this were an item that required that had that was trace um, that had that trace control with lot number, serial number, heat number, and such, then I would need to also give trace information before I would be able to save this. If it had pictures attached, I'd see that. That's the picture that's in the item master that is attached there. If I have documents attached, I can see those. Um, there are document if there are documents attached to that uh, to that part or to that work order, I'd be able to see those right from here. So that is the very first transaction. That's the next one is issue return. So if that very part that I ordered needed to go back into stock and off the work order, then I would use issue return. Very similarly, what is the work order? What is the part I'm returning? How many am I returning and any reasons? Same options here at the top to give information and get information. Receiving from, receive from a work order. When we go into receive from a work order, what we're doing is pulling that finished good into we're saying the work order is done and i'm putting the finished good away so that's what that transaction is doing and you guys are probably already familiar with it with these transactions so i'm putting it in to finished goods from whip to finished goods or taking it back out of finished goods putting it back into whip for whatever reason issue by work order gives me the option to issue an entire work order at one time instead of a single transaction at a time so as i as i pull up a um pull up a work order there i see all of the material at the bottom i also have some indicators you may have noticed that one indicator that's telling me that this item is short so that item is short so I might want to be watching and looking very closely at that one. But notice what I have up here. I have the opportunity to issue all or return items as well. So um, I might issue. Issue by exception is another way to that we term this. So I'm going to issue the many and return the few that maybe I didn't have or that I didn't find when I, when I did that issue. It's simply hitting submit. Um, issue all would get get those transactions played so those are all transactions that have to do with work orders and that again is primarily what you'll find in shop floor mobile is work order type transactions i can also do some inquiry here and look at work order transaction history um, but there are some other inventory transactions that i can do within shop floor mobile i can move goods from one location to another i can also adjust, play adjustments adjust in adjust out so if um you know so if i'm counting if i'm cycle counting and need or need to do uh, do an adjustment for whatever reason in and out is also here so no matter how you look at it in a list form or in those buttons, those are the um, those are the inventory transactions. That is what you will find here in work order material. The next recording is about what we can do in purchasing.